Well, artists from around the country are in Indianapolis this weekend for a tradition that's lasted close to 40 years. 24 Hour News Ace Jill Dittmeyer is in for Dick Wolsey. She joins us live from the Broad Ripple Art Fair. Good morning. Good morning once again, Ruth Ann and Daniel. We've moved back outside where the uh, tents are getting set up. The art fair starts at 10 o'clock this morning, goes till 6 o'clock this evening, and then 10 to 5 tomorrow. $15 admission, $2 for kids 12 and under. You can use the shuttle, too. You can park at Glendale. You can park at Broad Ripple Park or Broad Ripple High School. Take the bus over here spend the whole day enjoying art music food all kinds of things and as Daniel mentioned artists from all over the country are here including Xavier Nuez and you are in today from the Bay Area of California right. and you told me you you sent your art ahead and you kind of caught up with it here in the Midwest um, yeah you know I, I live in California but most of the art festivals I do are in the east or the Midwest and so yeah so I've it's a bit of a juggling act, but uh, <laughs> it's it's always worth it. Sent the art to Ann Arbor, hopped the bus, and brought it down here to uh, everyone this morning. And this is really, this is the, the beautiful thing about the Broadville Art Fair, is there really is something for everyone, and there is art of every medium. And you take what most people would look at as the ugliest parts of cities and turn it into true, truly beautiful photograph. Well, thanks. Um, you know, ever since I was a kid, I loved exploring uh, urban ruins and you know dark alleys. I, I used to drag my friends into alleys at night, and, and <laughs> you know, I, um, uh, but it, it, you know, there's just there's something almost magical about them, the the decay and the and and all of the rust and you know bent metal. It, it all represents things that happened, and there, so there's so much history in mm -hmm. these places, and. Um, and you know, and the rust has amazing texture. Um, all of the garbage that's strewn about, it's this sort of chaos that is kind of a relief from our everyday uh, ordered lives. And we're, we're looking at some photographs from obviously some big cities, Detroit, uh, Boston, and Indianapolis as well. And uh, you said that Indianapolis isn't, it's hard to find nasty places <laughs> in Indianapolis. I guess we should be proud of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's nothing to be ashamed of there. Um, you also shoot on film with lights. I mean, yeah. and you do go into some pretty kind of scary places. What Do you just go out on your own, or do you bring a team of patrol uh, guys with you? <laughs> well, um, more often than my wife would like, I go out uh, on my own. Um, but I, I try to find people to, to watch my back when I'm doing this. It's really hard to focus on a subject and look through the viewfinder, uh, and at the same time look over your shoulder and you know make sure no one's going to bonk you on the head. Um, but yeah, I do bring lights, so all of these colors come from lights that, well, there's two things, lights that I set up with, with colored gels or filters. Um, the other thing is I'm shooting at night, um, doing long exposures, sometimes an hour. Wow. And so I can draw really amazing colors from the city lights and from moonlight. Well, we've only seen just a small snippet, so this is definitely a booth you want to come visit today. And Ruthann and Daniel, Xavier said he's going to be out shooting tonight, so... <laughs> Be careful. Look where you're when you're out walking around in those alleys. Don't he may be there with his <laughs> <Yeah>. camera. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks, Jill. It's a big weekend in Broad Ripple. The 39th annual Broad Ripple Art Fair gets underway later this morning. 24 hour news ace Jill Dittmeyer is filling in for Dick Wolfsey this morning, and she joins us live with details on the fair. Good morning, Jill. Good morning again, Daniel and Ruth Ann. Okay, we saved the best for last for you guys, the food. At the Broad Ripple Art Fair, they have all different kinds of vendors this year, including some of the local favorites, including the Ripple Bagel in Delhi. Ken Richmond, it's your first year at the fair. Why did you decide to bring these yummy steaming bagels over here? Well, it is our first time this year, and uh, we're pleased to be here. Uh, We've been a, a big uh, part of Broad Open for the last six years, and, uh, and of course the art fair is uh, uh, renowned in the state and uh, for our artists, and uh, it's a great venue, uh, wonderful people supporting here. Uh, we're a big supporter of the community, and uh, so we're pleased to be here. Yeah. yeah, it's great. So when you and your lovely wife Susan last yeah. night were sitting around thinking, okay, <laughs> how many bagels do you bring to an art fair? How do you plan something like this? <laughs> you know, it's kind of chaotic. We 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 think we've got a number, but we we're not sure. We uh, we hope it's not enough. But uh, I think they'll have a great turnout. The weather's turning out. It's going to be nice uh, for the whole weekend. I understand. So uh, uh, we we just 
go with what we can and hope <laughs> that we have enough. But we're, we're, we're local here, so in oh, yeah. Broad Ripple. So you we'll can be always go get more. Sure. And you are a staple in the Broad Ripple uh, neighborhood, too. And you, in addition to the bagels, you've added things, including you have biscuits and gravy yes. going here yes. this morning. Yes. It's one of our, uh, one of our customers' favorites. Uh, we've uh, kind of evolved over the last six years and added, besides our steamed uh, bagel sandwiches, which are we're the only one in the yeah. state of Indiana that has those. And uh, our biscuits and gravy and our cookies and our, uh, our soups, we're well known for our homemade soups. And so it's, it's kind of evolved in it. It's been good. It's been a customer-driven kind of thing. So it's been, uh, we've been real blessed. Well, I think everybody, the customers are going to be very happy here visiting the, the Ripple Bagel and Deli. And right next to them is another Broad Ripple favorite, Marcy Hubbard from Hubbard and Cravens. And it, uh, if we only had aroma, aroma vision here, we could smell your yummy coffee here this morning, Marcy. Yes, thank you. We love being here, and we've got all the favorites that we have in the store every day, plus a few extras. Yeah, we were talking about that a little bit before the live shot. You're prepared for either cold weather or hot weather today, aren't you? That is true. I've got frozen drinks, and I've got all the hot drinks, too. And also, you guys are doing something to support uh, the, the Broad Ripple area, too, the, the whole Harmony Project. This is really neat. Yes, um, we've created a blend of coffee that um, when we sell it by the pound, we'll donate $2 for every pound to the Harmony Project in Broad Ripple. And uh, you've been, you were at the Broad Ripple Art Fair last year as well? Correct. Mm -hmm. And what's your impression of the people that come out here uh, and, and enjoy the art and the music and the food and the coffee? I think everybody has a lot of fun. I, it's a great place to spend money, to have food, art, everything that you want, and it's, it's just a good, really good time. Well, the things get started here at 10 o'clock this morning, 10 to 6 today, 10 to 5 tomorrow. Park at Glendale, the Broad Ripple uh, Park or Broad Ripple High School. Take the shuttle bus over. Come on over, see a lot of art, a lot of coffee, a lot of food. And um, cookies, Brett's got his eye on the cookie here, our photographer here this morning. So, uh, Ruth Ann and Daniel, I know you guys probably want biscuits and gravy. Maybe we'll bring you back some of that too, okay? That would be fine. Cookies <laughs> would be fine. Anything. Thanks a lot, Jill. You're